Today I'm catching the train to settle from Ribblehead Railway Station. My return journey will be along the Dells Highway. Well, it looks like it might be a glorious day today. In the distance you can see the Ribblehead Viaduct and Wernside behind it. This is the small visitor centre at Ribblehead Station. Across from the station platform you can see Ingleborough and that will be my return route back. Well my journey back to Ribblehead starts here. Settle. <laughs> Well, as I leave Settle, I can look across on the hillside opposite me now and that's where I came down a couple of weeks ago when I was doing the previous section of this Dales Highway walk. One thing about walking at this time of the year is the absolutely gorgeous autumn colours. Well, this is Stackhouse, about one and a half miles into my walk. I've done about uh, 25 minutes of walking. Um, the thermometer is reading 13 degrees Celsius, which uh, seems a bit optimistic because it certainly feels quite chilly. So you got any person who admits to shut and fasten this gate is liable to a penalty not exceeding 40 shillings. Got to make sure I fasten it then. Well, I'm back by the River Ribble now. And uh, I do wonder whether I might see some sun today. I think it could be the right time of the year to see them swimming up river. Well, I'm just approaching Stainforth Forest now, and uh, I'll have done about three miles. This is Stainforth Forest. And at this time of the year, sometimes you get to see salmon leaping up the falls. Well, as you can see, it's quite busy there, just people standing and looking, but uh, I need to make tracks and move onwards. Well, it's time now to leave the river and start to gain some height, and we're heading towards smear set scar which must be just over a mile away I would think Pfizer two miles well as again some height I can turn around take a look back down towards Stainforth I've never ascended about 400 feet since leaving the river and I've got views across to smear set scar now Well, walking in weather like this is absolutely delightful and beautiful scenery as well in the Yorkshire Dells. I've done about four and a quarter miles, um, about a thousand feet above sea level. And the next waypoint is Pfizer, which can't be more than a mile away. We are on our way down to Pfizer. Popular refreshment spot. Must be the uh, village water pump. Well, as I leave Pfizer and do a short climb out the village, I now get a view across to Penny Ghent, which is the first peak of the Yorkshire Three Peaks. Well, as I head down to Wharf, I get a view of Ingleborough Hill in the distance, and that's going to be one of my waypoints. Well, I'm now approaching Wharf, and there's a finger post here signed posted Crummock one and three quarter miles, and that's another of my waypoints after Wharf. Well, this is the small hamlet, Wharf, and 
I've done six and a half miles and it's just turned one o'clock and I'm going to get a sandwich now. I've just followed this bride away from Wharf and now I've got a view across to Studrick Scar. It's a good clapper bridge here to cross this uh, stream. Well, I've come one and a quarter miles along the bridle way from Moor, and I can take a look back down the lane. Well, this is the farm at Crumlock, and I've done about eight and a quarter miles. Now, according to my GPS, the next waypoint is Ingleborough Hill. And that's three miles away about and I'm going to have uh, a bit of a scent to do as well. Well now that I've climbed the hillside outside of Grummock uh, I can now see my next objective, Ingleborough ahead. Whilst I have Ingleborough over to my left I can see Penny Ghent in the distance over the limestone paving. The path I'm on now to the top of Ingleborough is the route of the Yorkshire Three Peaks walk but in the opposite direction. When you're doing the Yorkshire Three Peaks and you get to this point you know you're not that far from Horton in Ribblesdale and the job is nearly done. Well I've just clocked 11 miles now and uh, Ingleborough's looking a bit closer. I'm not far off the top now, but uh, let's just take a look across the landscape we've walked across today. It's been absolutely fabulous. I get a view back down towards the viaduct at Riverhead, and that's going to be the way back. one little push and we're at the top. Here we are, Ingleborough, the trig point. Right, I'll just have a sit down over here and let's have a look at some stats. Right, I've done 12 miles. We're just over 2,300 foot above sea level. Temperature is eight degrees Celsius and that's the coolest I've seen it all day. Um, it hasn't felt particularly warm today. And today our total ascent for the walk so far is just short of 2,800 feet. Well, just before I leave the summit, I'm gonna have a look across to Warren side and the path I'm going to follow back is going to be running underneath Warrenside and towards the viaduct. Now the usual three peaks route and the route off for me normally would be this route but it's closed for repair. So there is a diversion across the ridge and down and that's what we're going to do. <clears throat> well I've walked a mile along the ridge from the top there and now it's time to go down. It's quite a steep descent. Well that's the path we've come down, the diversion and to be honest that was pretty good compared to the uh, the official path which is now under repair. I think Ingleborough looks very different from this side, its outline. Anyway, next where point is Chapel the Dale. <laughs> From Chapel the Dale, we're going to follow the bridle way to Ellerback. 
the sun is just catching the top of we're inside. Well, I'm at the farm at Ellerback now, and uh, I've done 15 and three quarter miles. So onwards to the viaduct will head. Well, I'm now inside of the viaduct. I've just left Winterscales Farm by the side of Warrenside and the signal box at Bleemore has just appeared. I've completed 18 miles and I'm at Bleemore Sidings now and it's time to leave the Dells Highway. If I was to carry on on the Dells Highway I'd continue to dent past the signal box well, this is the viaduct at Ribblehead. And I can see the station ahead. Well, today has been a, an excellent walk. Excellent weather. Um, and uh, a really good route. It wasn't too busy coming off... Um, Ingleborough, which is which can be an issue, especially when uh, you're in the three peak season and you've got so many walkers walk coming in the opposite direction. I'm now back at the railway station, and these are the final stats for today. <laughs>